So the other day I sat down to write my blog, which I do every couple of weeks. There's always a note on my get done list to say write blog. And so I saw that note and I sat down and I stared at my laptop screen for probably about 20 minutes. Yeah, have you done that before? Where whether it's that you're writing a blog or whatever it is that you have got to do, you seem to stay stuck in thought for a long time. You kind of know that there's this thing that you're meant to be doing. You even know that it's something that you enjoy doing and that usually seems to flow for you or something that you're good at doing or something that's important to you but still just by sitting there and staying with those thoughts for a bit too long suddenly actually doing it feels like it's drifting away from you yeah well that's what happened to me the other day as I sat down to write my blog usually the ideas kind of come flowing to me and because they didn't this time I just sat for too long in that thinking mode and that's what then triggered me to realize that I had to do something because what then came to me was the fact that I have really noticed that rarely do I ever achieve anything just through thought alone or through thinking about it for too long of course thoughts amazing thought is one of the most powerful things we have thought is what then generates feelings in our bodies and often then that thought and feeling combination turns into the actions that we take but of course thought without action doesn't really get much done does it and that's what i had to remind myself the other day as I sat there and noticed these thoughts running through my mind. And when I really noticed the thoughts running through my mind, I noticed that those thoughts were thoughts from past stories that I had, were thoughts from old fears and beliefs and resistance and self-sabotage popping up, rather than real true thoughts that I know serve me or beliefs that I've really taken on board that help me to move forwards in a positive way. I noticed those thoughts, those voices that said things like, oh, well, you've got nothing interesting to say anybody. Who, anyway, who wants to hear it anyway? And those voices that said, yeah, You've got no idea what you're doing. You've got no idea what you're doing. Voices that said things like, what's the point anyway? Nobody's interested. You may as well give up. Have you ever listened to those voices in your own mind? I'm sure they're there or they've been there at some point. Those voices that are telling us things that aren't true, but things that come from some sort of place inside us, some sort of old story or fear we've had. And so those voices pop up when there's room for them. And by sitting down and staying in thought for too long without taking any action, I'd given room, I'd given space for these thoughts to, to creep in. And of course, if I then stay in that space for too long, if I actually start to listen to these voices and believe these voices, then I'm quickly going to be pretty screwed. <laughs> I am probably at that point quickly going to just end up closing my laptop and giving up for that day, maybe even for the next day, maybe even for the next week or month. So no, I'll, you know, I'll start it again, you know, at some point. I'll start it next month, but only if it's a Monday, because, you know, you can only start things on Mondays. All of those sorts of things I start to tell myself that aren't true, just because I stayed in thought for too long. And so how did I overcome that? Well, I overcame that by doing exactly what I'm doing right now, by jumping into it even though I didn't feel like I was ready to start 
by moving from thought into action even before I really knew what that action was. So as, as I was doing it writing my blog, I simply put my hands over the keyboard and I just started typing. I just started typing. I just started typing and writing what was happening, what I was thinking about, what was going on. And suddenly I was a number of words in and things were starting to flow. And so that's what I want you to notice about the power of thought, but then also the power of stepping into action even before you feel like you're ready to. And when you feel yourself getting stuck in that thought process for too long and the procrastination kicks in and the overthinking kicks in and the fear voices kick in, I just want you to simply go through these few steps. The first step, just notice. Notice those voices. Awareness is always going to be the first step to anything. It's completely key to us being able to move forwards in a more empowered way. So just notice those voices. When they creep in, notice what they're saying to you. And then the second step, remind yourself they are not true. And even if they were true, they're certainly not serving you. So we don't have to listen to them. They're coming from some old past stories you've been telling yourself. And so just remind yourself, they're not serving me. And then the third step, ask yourself, what could serve me better? What else could be true? What else could I tell myself? Instead of listening to these fear voices, what empowered voice could I create inside my own mind? Could I tell myself something like, all I have to do is take the first step. And I've taken so many first steps in my life that I know I've got this. I know I can do it. And then, of course, the step after that, step four, is just get started. Jump into it. Take some action. No matter how big or small, just jump in. Because remember, when you start taking action, you can always look along the way at how that feels and the fifth step is then you can correct your course. If you see yourself, feel yourself going off course, then just notice that and correct it. And if you feel yourself and see yourself going off course again, just notice that and correct that. The mind's very good at telling us that whatever we're doing in that moment, we're going to be doing, thinking, feeling forever. And of course, rationally, consciously, we know that's not the case. And so I want you to notice that even though your mind might tell you that you have to start in the most perfect, right way, that actually there's no such thing. As a recovering perfectionist, as I'm sure lots of you might identify with, there's no such thing as the perfect way and the right way. There's just our way, our way of doing it, which there are multiple different versions of. And so jump in, get started, and then just notice if you want to correct that course as you go. So what are you overthinking? What are you spending too much time in thought over and not really taking any action over? I'd really like to know, so drop me a comment and let me know that. And then I'd really like to know, how is that or might that be holding you back from really being able to live the life that you want and achieve the things that you want to achieve? Think about it, but not for too long. When you've thought for a little bit, take some action, drop me a comment or do something that gets you to move past those thoughts and into the action. Take care. And I will see you again soon.